Hello! I am so happy that we're getting to paint together today. Um, this is acrylic painting of a beach scene. So what we need are our brushes, our large square, a small round, and if you have it, just another small square. Our colors are going to be white, yellow, light blue, phthalo red, green, and a yellow ochre. Okay, so to start, we're going to take our round brush, find your water cup, dip it in, whisk it around, tap it off, and then you find a paper towel, maybe blot some of it off. From there, we're going to mix a nice light color. So I like to use this yellow ochre and white. So I'm going to push the white and the yellow together till I just get a very, very nice light caramel color. From here, we're going to do our outlines of our sand dunes. I'm going to start in the corner, maybe about three fingers from the bottom on the side. And then I'm just going to do a nice little humpty dump up and then down a little off center. So it's not landing immediately in the center. Maybe we'll make that a little bigger. And then just on the other side, maybe a little lower or right on. I would not do higher over and just making a line coming down there. Excellent. Little sand dunes. Um, now I do take this dirty brush, whisk it if you would like, and I'm going to pop it right into the side of my blue, right in there, and I'm going to walk my fingers above my sand dune by about three fingers, just trying to stay short of halfway of the canvas. So right about here is what I'm going to do. And then I'm just going to walk it across. Woohoo! Dirty brush. Right? Okay. So I have like a little bit of discoloration in there, which is great. So now what I'm going to do is abandon this brush, put it in the water cup, and grab a big brush, whisk it, push it along the side of the cup, Excellent. Now stand up a little bit. Now we're going to mix the color. So I'm going to go ahead and take some of this white and some yellow. I'm going to push those together to get just a very nice light yellow. Way more white than yellow. All right. So what I want to do is come right above this blue line that we just made. So what I like to do is take my brush skinny ways, push it right along the top of that blue. Just along the top. Maybe some of it will blend. Maybe it won't. <laughs> if that happens, if you get like a little bit of discoloration, you can take your paper towel, just wipe that paintbrush off, Make sure it's clean and then go right back into your white and yellow and redistribute the color. So we've got this nice bright yellow at the bottom. I'm building it up by about two fingers. Back forth, back forth. I'm running out of paint. I'm really letting it blend into here. So now what I'm going to do is take a dirty brush, take some of that white push it over to the pink, push those two colors together. You don't need a lot of pink. I have a huge puddle right here, but I do not need that much. And just right into the edges, I like to start above the yellow, push that nice bright pink into the yellow for a very pretty bright, bright color, mixing it in pushing it into your yellow and up and down. Some of it's thoroughly mixed, 
Oh, it got really bright up there. That's all right. Some of it's not. Just a little bit more. Match that brightness that I got in there. Okay. So I really enjoy these nice bright lines I'm getting. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to whisk this brush really well. Get all the pink out because I really am not looking for a purple next. I want a nice bright blue. So again to the white, pick some of it up off of the edge over to the blue. Mix a very nice light blue. It's too light. <laughs> Keep mixing until you find a, like a sky blue, right? Nice bright blue sky day. Something like this color right in here. Okay, so I am thinking that I'm going to get some nice little white splotchy notes in my blue. And that's going to be awesome because you can see that nice white blue, white next to that light blue. So I'm going to start above the pink. And just start working that in. You see that white that's happening in there? Awesome. That's exactly what we want. I'm going to go ahead and peek down into my pink. And I'm just pushing it from the edge of my canvas over onto the pink. But then as I go, I'm just letting it flick so that it kind of goes over that pink. I'll do it to the other side before I run out of paint. I'm just pushing it from the edge, flicking it over. And then I'll start to push that paint all the way across. I may start losing some of my white lines. So what I'm going to do is take a little bit of dirty water, right? It looks like milk. I tapped it off a little bit on my paper towel. And I'm going to go into a little bit darker blue, just on the corner of my brush. So I've got that light blue, a little bit of white, and dark blue. I'm going to start that dark blue over in the top corner. I'm just going to push that. Ooh, nice. Nice lines. See, it already looks so busy, but I'm not really doing anything. Well, extra. <laughs> so again, some dark blue just on the tip. Come on this side. Dark blue in the corner, just pushing that over. I'll go skinny line up here. Here we go. So in here what I'm doing is I'm just taking my brush and turning it thinly, really light pressure, and just letting some of that blue push in to that pink. Let that pink push into that blue. So we're going to end up with some dirty purple clouds, but that's what we want. That's, that is the effect we're going for here. So if you do not want that, do not do that here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and paint my edges as I enjoy that look. I'm using a little bit of a darker blue color on the top. Dark blue on the sides. Maybe just flick some of it in a little bit more. All right, I'm trying to get my hand out of the way. A little bit of white in there. Got a, I picked up a little bit too much white. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push it a little bit into here. Just mix a light, 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 light blue. And just maybe touch that some places in here. Just a little bit more activity in this middle upper space of our atmosphere. So just some white, skinny brush strokes. Very light pressure. big string in there all right so I'm gonna let that be for now and we're gonna move down into this area into our beach 
So I'm gonna keep this brush dirty with that light blue. This is where we're gonna to want to use this yellow ochre color. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that yellow ochre, I'm gonna bring it over to the blue, and I'm not gonna pre-mix it or anything. I want some more white, so I'm gonna come in from the yellow ochre side, just bring all this color in here. So look at that, look at that color that we're already getting. A nice like sand meets the ocean blue kind of color. So I, it is like a little mix, but you can definitely see the individual colors. That's what we want. So this is blue on the edge of my brush, white, yellow ochre, light blue. Very dirty brush, right? So now I'm gonna bring it in from here. We're gonna go from all the way to one edge to another. There we go. I was waiting for the adjust. Okay. So I'm gonna start just below that marker that we did. I'm just gonna bring it all the way across. Nice. So that blue is gonna start showing itself. I want it to be just a little bit darker in this part. Just a little darker. Bringing that all the way over. All the way over this way. Sorry for my arm in the way. Okay. So I just did one stroke. This is about the width of my brush, maybe like the width of your thumb, right? Just a bit. Now I want this to be a little lighter as I go down. So I'm gonna take dirty brush, maybe even chunky dunk it into your water. Doop. Tap it off. All right, now I'm gonna go over to just white and maybe poke a bit at this yellow ochre. So it's just, you know, put a few different colors on there. Um, and then I'm gonna come right on top of this, right? So some of my brush is on top of that blue and I'm just gonna push that together, right? And it's lighter. You see how much lighter that is down there? So it makes you feel like it's way closer to you. I'm just gonna let that come all the way down, touch my sandy um, dunes up in here. I'm grabbing just more white and it's just a touch of that light blue and a skosh of that yellow ochre. So all of that white, yellow ochre, light blue. And what I wanna do is I'm just gonna, I just have too much paint on there, so it's still the same color, it's just not as chunky. I'm just gonna start right on this edge, bring it in, bring it up, nice, nice strokes, very nice and light. Just meeting those sandy dunes up and over here. Just pushing that paint into there. Okay. And so just to divvy this up a little bit, I like to take just a bit of dark blue and a dirty brush. You just bring a little bit skinny ways horizontally through back here Woo just bring that down so it's a little choppy right light strokes okay and so yeah I like it like that it looks pretty nice 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 little horizon beach going on Okay, so now what we wanna do is we're gonna go ahead and take this brush, whisk it real good. Get all that color out. Okay, smushing time. All right, so now actually what I wanna do, even though we whisked it out, just go ahead and leave it into the water cup and go ahead and take that uh, round brush out in here. Tap it off. It's clean and wet. And so I'm going to take the white and the yellow ochre. Mixing that together. <laughs> okay. 
So I've got this like sandy color, right? I still like to pick up just some plain white if I can get it, right? Just some plain white. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start in here and I'm laying my brush down right on that tip. And I'm just kind of pushing up, down, up, down. Like my brush is not leaving the canvas, but it's not all the way touching the whole time either. And I'm just giving it some texture, picking up some more paint, mainly actually a little bit of white. Just bringing that down in there. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. So just some nice white, yellow ochre. Ooh, I picked up a lot. So I'm just going to displace that on the bottom. If that happens to you, you know, it should be darker on the bottom. So I'm going to pick up a little bit more white. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I might need a little bit more. <laughs> uh, but it's pretty, pretty light. So really, you don't need a lot of color. Just doing that same stroke, popping it up and down, finishing it off in here. Okay. So once you've gotten all of this on here, make sure you get those edges that we've been working on. All right, and then from there, I'm gonna do a little bit right in here to make this seem like it's a little bit darker. I am gonna take a little bit of that blue color, pop it over to that yellow ochre, mix that in. It's gonna create this like really nice green color. Cool. I just want to add a little bit of a slanted movement in here. Just a little bit of color, right? You could even just only use yellow ochre if you want. Just make it really heavy texture. Okay, so it's pretty well defined now, right? Okay, so what I'm gonna do with Little Mama or even a smaller round if you would like nice small round brush is take that green and a little bit of yellow at the same time, green and yellow. And if you're feeling it, a little bit of yellow ochre to give it a more natural tone, right? Right in there. Wait for the camera to figure out. There it is. Nice color. All right, so now I'm just gonna take it in here. Really light pressure. I just start with just the tip. And just do some nice little sea outs. Really nice light ones. You do not have to do this. Right? You just, you just live just on the top. Kind of going anywhere. Maybe there's something, some little fuzzies. I'm gonna grab some more paint, same color, same brush. Maybe you did them on one side and you don't wanna do them on the other side, that's fine. So this paint is very wet. So it's gonna be moving that white paint underneath it, which is fine. Uh, we just wanna use enough paint on our brush to actually be able to see the new strokes you're doing. All right, so from there, those got a little fat. <laughs> That's okay though. From there, I'm just gonna leave it. Those are all the instructions I have for you. Don't forget to sign it somewhere, typically down in the corner. Right? Woohoo! Um, I hope you enjoyed the painting. Have a wonderful day and keep painting.